Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel where we give you the latest news. Thank you for always tuning in to listen to us. And now to the news of today, the headline. I support Sinobu because he is reversing the damage done by Agoyi Iransi, Reno. And now to the news info. Life is a one-time opportunity. Use it well. Make peace with those willing to make peace with you. And only make war with those who have themselves first made war on you. Britain and America fought Germany and Japan. After the war, the victorious allies were the same people who rebuilt Germany and Japan. Scripture says, As far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Romans 12 verse 8 Only a madman fights because he likes fighting. I am not a madman. People fight for interest, and what are my interests? I have been a public intellectual for the last 31 years, of my 50 years on earth. In that time, my core values and interests have been that Nigeria must remain one indivisible country, and that first subsidy must go, the Nigerian Pet National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, must be fully privatized and move from state-owned to publicly owned. The Naira must be floated and power must be devolved from the federal to the state and local government to undo the damage to Nigeria by Major General Johnson Agui Ironsi's May 24, 1966 Unification of Assets Decree 34, which ended true federalism in Nigeria. Before I take a political step, I confer with my political leaders, former President Jonathan, and we see eye to eye and have the same worldview and national vision. I was against President Sinobu because when he won the All Progressive Congress on June 8, 2022, he said he would continue from where Buhari stopped. I felt dismayed that he would choose the anniversary of Abacha's death to say that he would continue with the police policies of Buhari. Abacha's footage. However, since it was sworn in, President Tinubu has demonstrated that he is keeping faith with the progressive ideas of the late State Chief Obafemi Awolowo and the late visionary Kakanfo Moshud Abiola. In what way exactly, Mr. Reno? In what way is he keeping the faith with the progressive ideas of Obafemi Awolowo? Is this what Obafemi Awolowo? Is this what he fought for? Is it what Moshud Abiola was fighting for? We still have for scarcity, there is hunger, everything is going wrong in the country. So what faith is he keeping? I don't understand, Mr. Reno. You have just changed him out, you were fighting him before and now you guys are friends because, because he's keeping the faith of progressive ideas of Obafemi Ab 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 Awolowo and Kakanfo. How? Okay now. As such, my stance on the president has changed and I offer him my right hand of fellowship to continue reforming Nigeria and get her to a pre-1966 level of greatness. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Reno Omokri, Gospeller, Deep Thinker, Table Shaker, Ruffler of the Feather of Obedience. Number, number one best-selling author of facts versus fictions, the true story of Jonathan Yes, Hodofile, Hollywood Magazine Humanitarian of the Year, 2019, Business Insider Influencer of the Year, year 2022. Mr. Reno, we have heard you, but what you are saying still doesn't make sense. It's just appointment that you are looking for. You are just looking for appointment. Oppo Kiri Nico Eze says, is this man okay? That is a very valid question. Mr. Reno, are you okay? Christiana Kanaga says, Foolish Reno mockery. You don't have any electoral value. Somebody else says, You are indeed hungry. Yes, because the way he's acting, you move from this person to this person to this person because what exactly are you looking for? Somebody else says, He's mentally deranged. Another one says, This man is jobless. One K Ngoke said, Reno comes first in one thing. Can you tell me that what that thing is? My viewers, my listeners, please tell me what Reno is if you know what exactly it is. Also, somebody 
says this that is the international beggar talking from the UK. Obia innocence is venom, your shame the shame. A man without any atom of integrity. Because if you have integrity, you supported Bitaobi, you moved to Atiku, and now you have moved to, to um, Tinobu. What exactly are you looking for? That means you are not loyal. A loyal person will stick to one person. You will not jump from pillar to post looking for appointment up and down, saying that he is upholding something that again university did, blah, blah, blah. It's just total nonsense to me. Somebody else says Nigeria's problem started from somewhere, but the Igbos that knows had never made mention of it because Nigeria was created by their fellow Igbo man. They are good in tribalism. Another person says, please connect Reno to caregiver job. Maybe, maybe when he gets busy with his time, he will stop jumping from pillar to post and saying what he likes and typing nonsense on Twitter and Instagram. Emika and Nyako said, Mr. Tinobu, you are welcoming criminals to Asura. That is why this criminal will have the gut to insult Agui Rossi. But this time, if you then mention any former Ebo leader, both dead or alive, then you will know that there is a limit to every madness. This sounds like a theater. Amako said, some madness now follow come. Imagine this generational liability speaking from both sides of the mouth. This kind of people are many in Nigeria. One plate of paper soup, they start praising you. It's no longer Peter Obi tribal bigotry too. Now follow come, Abi. Because he's always just saying anything he likes. He will just go on his Twitter, on his Instagram and just come and start typing a whole lot of nonsense that, that doesn't make any sense. Somebody else says, your generation name will be forgotten in this planet as you mentioned Agui in Rossi. Somebody says, Ike Chikili says, good for nothing. Political prostitutes. It is now Agui in Rossi. No more Pitobi. Someone needs mental evaluation. Exactly. This person gave him the right name that we are not mocking his political prostitutes because it's the process that goes from one customer to the other. When no Mokri has been jumping from pillar to post, from Atiku to Peter B to Tinobu, when somebody else comes in in 2027, he's definitely going to jump over to that person's side because that is what he is. Somebody says, this shameless guy keeps abusing the word intellectual. An intellectual person doesn't talk much. He or she thinks before he or she says or writes anything. An intellectual is not hypocritical. Once it takes a stand, it doesn't sway from it. Exactly. If you take a stand with somebody, nothing, no matter what happens, your thoughts, your opinion about that person should not change. My listeners, what do you think? Kindly you leave your thoughts in the comment section. Do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for listening. See you some other time. Bye.